Tristan Blampede. I'm the senior product manager here at Pelican. Pelican is a growth financial technology firm specialising in transaction banking, uh, compliance and corporate banking for banks and also corporate payments for our multinational corporate client base. We've been around for about 20 years now and we've got a healthy geographic split of our clients between North America, Europe and Asia. We inject artificial intelligence into all of our solutions to give them that extra boost and, and that extra power over and above what you might get with a with a traditional product set so for example an organization running at about 80% efficiency say in their payments business today might struggle based on their current technology to get past that 80% by leveraging artificial intelligence it really brings you to the next level of cost efficiency and savings Our clients are finding onerous regulatory obligations particularly challenging as well as uh, particularly for the incumbent banks legacy system challenges certainly in Europe and, and the UK where a lot of technology stacks are more dated. One of the ways that banks can address these challenges is by leveraging new technology, technology that is interoperable with existing components but at the same time can enable them to offer for products and services that they might not be able to based on their current technology set. About Pelican specifically, it is the, the long-standing deployment of, of artificial intelligence. It is very true that there are other transaction banking and compliance and corporate banking providers. Few of those solutions, first of all, layer the disciplines of, of AI that, that we do and have that experience of doing so, but also all of our applications and solutions were developed in-house. So we are not the result of mergers and acquisitions and licensing third-party applications we created all of our platforms ourselves so as a result for example our compliance platform covering things like sanction screening and anti-money laundering is completely compatible and interoperable with our payments and our transaction banking solution that means that the two work seamlessly together and you don't get the kind of errors and failures and complications that occur when you bolt together two systems that were never designed to work together from the outset you can't purchase it online on Amazon because um, it is designed to integrate tightly into your environment therefore you need to work with us to ensure it is bespoke for every client absolutely and it's for uh, large and medium-sized banks and also multinational corporates now we are expanding in, into other segments where um, there will be a slightly different access model but at this moment in time we we tailor the product to suit the individual needs of our clients uh, but it is easy to onboard flexibility has already been key for us so we support any communication protocol one bank might want us to link their different systems via API and web services. One bank might want to use us to speak to with the outside world via trans file transfer or, or, or message queues. Uh, likewise with, with the corporates um, they might be more interested in a secure but internet based so communications protocol. So we will support any secure protocol based on the client requirements um, and because we adapt to meet their standards rather than forcing them to meet our standards it makes it significantly easier to onboard and accept clients. So it's tested thoroughly at our development center using all relevant disciplines of, of the IT system development lifecycle, um, including of course robust quality assurance testing so nothing will leave the factory as it were uh, without having been thoroughly tested prior to being deployed to a client. To give you an anonymous example, one client came to us with, with uh, significant problems in their payment operation. They were suffering from uh, manual repair rates of around 40%, so their straight through processing or, or STP rate uh, was only about 60%. This was causing them um, huge overheads in terms of the manual solutions that they had to, to throw at the problem, and, and also in terms of the risk, because of 
of course a, a manual human based solution is prone to, to error and, and, and common mistakes. So we deploy natural language processing which is a discipline of artificial intelligence into their payment operation to undertake complex repairs of all of their, their payment channels, um, in particular for cross-border and correspondent banking payments. Uh, we introduced uh, artificial intelligence into their routing operation as well to send some payments that would have gone via an RTGS network instead via ACH when they were, when they were going via a domestic channel. So as a result, their straight through processing rate shot up to 96% um, and they're saving several million dollars a year in terms of their overhead. One particularly good one that, that we leverage is machine learning. Uh, there are a number of, of examples of how that can be deployed, but one would be, say, in sanctions compliance. Uh, every sanctions filter is, is subject to something called false positives, where the system flags a payment that, in fact, has nothing wrong with it uh, because. Um, it had characteristics that the system thought matched a, a list. If that happens on a regular basis for a particular item or a particular beneficiary and the system detects a pattern of the operator repeatedly allowing that payment through, it can make the decision that right, this operator has allowed this flagged item through multiple times, the system can take the decision to no longer flag it in the future, thereby increasing the efficiency. Uh, now with, with something like that, it is very important that any machine learning is set at the start within controlled parameters. We've all seen horror stories of uh, computers making decisions that they shouldn't have done or, or becoming too intelligent for their own good. So, so having the power to set the tolerance thresholds for the machine learning at start is key to ensure that, that the machine learning increases efficiency but doesn't do anything it shouldn't do. We've learned that the industry is becoming more complex. There's a huge amount of uh, talk around distributed ledger technologies, um, how they will contrast with SWIFT, will they replace SWIFT, will they work in partnership with, with SWIFT in some way. Uh, there, there's a lot of talk about artificial intelligence as well, which is very encouraging. We, we think that uh, the industry now needs to focus on specific use cases for that uh, at Pelican, uh, as well as the rebrand, uh, we've launched our new slogan, which is Intelligent Payments Management. Um, but what this is, is the achievement of superior payment processing and compliance processing by leveraging disciplines of, of artificial intelligence.